Struggling with blood sugar levels, ready to shed those extra pounds effortlessly? Look no further. Sugar Defender, the number one rated blood sugar formula, is here to transform your health and help you achieve your wellness goals. Click the link in the video description to get started with Sugar Defender today. It seems Sony is already winding down support for PSVR 2, as a report claims only two first-party games are in development for the headset. Sony's lack of support for PlayStation VR 2 has been bizarre considering the headset only launched in February last year, and not a single new first-party game has been announced since then, including at the most recent state of play. While the headset itself is impressive, almost all the big-name support came within the first months and has long since dried up, with only the likes of Horizon Call of the Mountain, Gran Turismo 7, and a VR mode for Resident Evil Village making full use of the hardware. If Sony's disinterest in supporting the headset already seemed clear, a new report claims the company is making deep cuts to its funding of VR games in the future. According to Android Central, an inside source claims there will be very few opportunities for VR game development at Sony moving forward, due to the cuts. Elsewhere, another source claims there are currently only two PlayStation VR 2 games in development at Sony, although that's still two more than was previously suspected. If true, it sounds like this will be the last time Sony makes any significant investment into the VR space, at least for the foreseeable future. The lack of support is also a kicker for those who have spent £530 for the headset itself, even if smaller companies do continue to release games for it. Sony has already made widespread cuts across PlayStation as a whole. Earlier this year, it announced plans to cut 900 jobs, which led to the closure of London Studio who were responsible for PlayStation VR game Blood Truth. At its most recent state of play, two new PlayStation VR 2 games were shown, with action horror title Alien, Rogue Incursion and Skydance's Behemoth. However, both of these titles are set to be released on other VR platforms and neither has anything to do with Sony. In an attempt to expand its use, a new PC adapter for PlayStation VR 2 is set to be released next month which will allow users to play VR games on PC natively using the headset. While it costs an extra £50, it means you'll be able to play Half-Life Alex and countless other titles using the PlayStation VR 2. Ex-PlayStation boss urges industry to make shorter games and ditch realistic graphics. Shin Megami Tensei 5, Vengeance Review, Reincarnation of Persona. Legendary 70s rock band's catalog of hits being sold for $1,270,000,000. PS5 Spider-Man 3 screenshots featuring Silk Leak Online. While we'll have to see what Sony has up its sleeve for its remaining first-party VR titles, the idea that they have two games in development is considerably more surprising than the idea that they're stopping support. Email GameCentral at metro.co.uk, leave a comment below, follow us on Twitter, and sign up to our newsletter. To submit inbox letters and readers features more easily, without the need to send an email, just use our Submit Stuff page here. For more stories like this, check our gaming page. More, PlayStation Radio Silence continues as Sony skips Gamescom again. More, ex-PlayStation boss responds to slimy platform comment from Xbox's Phil Spencer. More, ex-PlayStation boss urges industry to make shorter games and ditch realistic graphics. Sign up to all the exclusive gaming content, latest releases before they're seen on the site.